10 detective riddles only the most attentive 1% can solve. It has been scientifically proven that you must solve 10 detective riddles every day to develop and exercise your brain. You don't believe it? Okay, okay, perhaps we have made this fact up. But you can't deny that entertaining your mind solving cases along with Sherlock Holmes and other famous detectives is anything but boring. So if you are ready to check how attentive you are, this video is what you need. Watch a riddle, have 15 seconds to try to crack it, and move to the next one. Remember to give us a like for letting you feel like a real professional in solving crimes. Good luck! Number 10. A Detective and the Blacksmith Brothers On a snowy winter night, the detective was resting in front of the fireplace. Suddenly, somebody threw a snowball at his window. The hit was so strong that the glass shattered. The detective stood up and had just enough time to notice three kids who lived in the neighborhood running away. They were brothers with the names Sam Blacksmith, Peter Blacksmith, and Mark Blacksmith. The next day, a paper note was left on the detective's door. There it was written, question mark blacksmith. He threw the snowball. The detective knew immediately which brother to question. Okay, now you have 15 seconds. Hopefully enough time to figure it out. The symbol, question mark, is called the question mark. So here we go. Question mark blacksmith. He threw the snowball. Number 9. Hotel Room A woman was staying in her hotel room when somebody knocked at the door. When she opened it, she saw an unknown man. He looked surprised and said, I apologize. I thought it was my room. He turned away and went in the direction of the elevators. The woman, however, returned to the room and dialed security. Why was she so suspicious? Have you already figured it out? Time is ticking! The woman logically decided that if the man had thought that the room was his, he wouldn't have knocked. Such behavior is typical for those criminals who break into hotel rooms and steal whatever they can. They knock on the door to make sure there's nobody inside. Number 8. Suicide or Murder A detective comes to a crime scene. A man is said to jump out of a window of an abandoned building and commit suicide. The detective goes inside the building to the first floor, to the room at the front. He lights a cigarette, goes up to the window which faces the dead man, opens it and throws the cigarette out. Then he goes to the second floor and does the same. He continues until he has visited all the floors and repeated the action again and again. Then he returns to his team and says that it was by no means a suicide, but a murder. How did he find it out? It took the detective much longer than 15 seconds to understand the truth. What about you? Are you smarter? When a person commits suicide jumping from a high floor, they don't tend to close the window behind them. But in this case, none of the windows which faced the dead man were left open. It means that there was somebody who closed them after the man died. Number 7. Ice Tea Two young ladies were having dinner together. They both ordered iced tea. One of them was very thirsty and drank very fast. She had five glasses during the time the other drank only one. Tragically, the girl who was nursing her drink and drinking slowly died. The other stayed alive. But it turned out that all the drinks they had been served contained poison. How is it possible that the girl who drank more survived? A strange case. Are you ready with the answer? In fact, the poison was contained in the ice. 
The ice in the tea of the girl who drank fast didn't have time to melt, but the ice cubes in the other girl's drink melted, releasing the poison into her tea. Number 6. Mysterious Death in the Car A man was found shot to death in his car. The policemen were puzzled, as there was no gunpowder on his clothes or anywhere else in the car. This meant that the person who shot him was outside, but all the windows were closed, all the doors locked, and the only bullet hole was on the man's body. How was it possible? Perhaps some mystic powers? Here's your 15 seconds. The answer is actually quite simple. The car where the man had been killed was a convertible. When the fatal shot sounded, the roof was down. Number 5. Fly and Coffee A woman was having breakfast at a nice restaurant. At one moment, she noticed a fly in her coffee. She was indignant and made the waiter bring her another cup of the drink. After he returned with a new cup of coffee, she shouted, what is the service in this place? You have brought me the same cup of coffee. How did she understand it? Perhaps the woman was a psychic? What do you think? She had already put sugar in her previous cup of coffee. When she tried the new one, it was sweet. Number 4. In Court for Killing the Wife A man is accused of killing his wife. His lawyer, in his final statement, declares that the wife of the man, in fact, hasn't been killed and will enter the courtroom in a minute. Everybody in the room, including the judge and the jury, turns and looks at the door, and the lawyer with the defendant looks at them. Several minutes pass and the lawyer says, It proves that you are not so sure that my client has killed his wife. Otherwise, you wouldn't believe me. Almost immediately after that, the jury comes up with a guilty verdict. Why does it happen? 15 seconds to find the answer. The man who had been accused wasn't looking at the door. He was sure his wife wouldn't enter, as he had killed her. Number 3. A Case of a Smuggler A man carrying two bags with sand crosses the Mexican border on a bicycle every day. Customs officers regularly check the bags, and all the time, they contain sand. It is obvious that the man smuggles something, but the officers can't realize what it is exactly. As they don't have any proof, the man crosses the border without interruptions. What does he smuggle? Your time has started. This creative individual distracts the custom officer's attention with the bags of sand, but in fact, he smuggles bicycles. Number 2. Suicide Message A body of a man was found in the flat. At some moment, he collapsed against his desk, a gun in his hand. The police found a cassette recorder nearby. When they pressed the play button, what they heard was, I can't live like this anymore. Then the sound of a gunshot was heard. However, the detective immediately figured out that it was a murder. How did he realize that it wasn't a suicide? Surely, you already know the answer. If not, you still have some time. If the man had killed himself, he by no means would have been able to rewind the tape. Conclusion, there was someone else. Number 1. Crime Scene a man killed his wife in their car. 
He used a knife which he later threw away into an abyss where nobody was going to find it. His wife's body he took out of the car. He was very careful and left no fingerprints. After that, he headed home. In a couple of hours, he got a call from the police. They informed him that his wife had been killed and he had to arrive at the crime scene right away. As soon as he got there, however, he was suspected for the murder. How did the police realize it had been him who was guilty? And 15 seconds for you. Take your time. The husband wasn't informed of the definite location of the crime scene. Despite that, he came to the right place. We hope you had a good time while solving these riddles. Which one was the hardest nut to crack? Tell us in the comments and share this video with your friends. You can compare the results afterwards. Remember to hit the like button. If this video gathers 50,000 likes, we will prepare more mind-boggling riddles for you. To stay tuned, click subscribe. Join us on the Bright Side.